Hello and welcome everybody to English Center. Happy to see all of these smiling faces once again. This is mine to be. Today, this session is question answer session. And here I'm answering another question. This question is from Kamrun Nahar. She says, your pronunciation is good. How do you improve your pronunciation? Please tell us, how can I improve our pronunciation? Thank you very much for your comment. First of all, I would like to say phonetics and phonology is a very big, wide subject. So if you want to study it, uh, you have to give lots of time to study it. And you can do your PhD, you can make your master's or MPhil PhD on this arena. So it's a vast topic. It's, it's not an easy or very small topic. Still, I would like to give you some tips. First of all, let me tell my journey actually how I improved my pronunciation. In 2006, I started this journey actually. How? I started watching lots of uh, movies. Uh, at the time, one of my friends had a shop and I contacted with him that I will take every CD from your shop and I will give you five taka at the time. Uh, every city rent was 10 taka, but I contacted with him that I will give you five taka. And approximately 150 movies I watched. And after that, I started watching uh, movies in G Studio for British English and also for understanding American English HBO, I started to watch. Uh, I was fascinated for British English, so my emphasis was on British English. I try actually, I didn't know how much I am closer to British English. Uh, you can say that no, you are not actually close enough to British English. Could be. Uh, I'm from Bangla medium student. I'm from Bangla medium. Uh, this way, uh, I, I actually do not uh, say or I do not claim that my English is like British. Okay, but I try to follow because I love it. Next one. So as I said that this is actually lots of things you have to do. So maybe you will not have that much patience to do it. But if you change just three phonemes and later on, I will say another one. I will talk on another one. Then by changing these three phonemes, your pronunciation will be radically changed. What are they? They are pa, then ta, then k. If you change this, Okay, let me give some examples, then you will understand. First of all, pa. How do you pronounce pa? From the two lips, we pronounce this. So keep it this way. Then just your extreme will come. It, it will be like an explosion, okay? Uh, for example, if I say uh, this way, pa, 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 pa. So you can see it is actually moving. So your steam is coming. So this way you have to pronounce pa. From the two lips, keep this two lips closure. Then like an explosion, it will come. Pa, 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 this way. Okay, now let me read some words with this, then you will understand better. Pen, pen, people, people, party. Party, passage, passage, pass, pass, passion, passion, passport, passport, paste, paste, pat, pat, pathetic, pathetic, patron, patron. Okay, my next recommendation is t. How do you pronounce t? From the edge of the uh, ridge from the edge of the teeth also, we can say, then we pronounce this sound. Although in Bangla, we pronounce this sound from the, uh, what? From the middle of the ridge. Okay, from the middle of the alveolar ridge, we produce. Okay, so uh, if you say, and it will be very soft. In English, there is no hard sound, so it will be very soft sound. So, ta, ta, ta. In Bangla, we say taka, say taka, Ta, ta, when you say our leaf, uh, okay, our tongue goes to the middle of the alveolar ridge. Okay, so we say uh, here, it will come here from the uh, actually edge, uh, not edge, actually root of the teeth. So it will come here. Okay, so say teeth. Okay, ta, 
t t okay let me give some examples then you will understand better time time table table t t trace trace toxic toxic tense tense tension tension traffic traffic tranquil tranquil transcend transcend transmit transmit and the last one that is k okay k is produced from here actually okay from from the edge of our uh, tongue okay k so uh, let me give some examples then you will understand better king king keep keep key key kick kick kid kid kidnap kidnap kidney kidney kill kill kind kind kitchen kitchen kite kite the last thing what i want to share with you that is you have to follow connected speech what is connected speech connected speech is that in a sentence you will mention connection between one sentence and another for example i'll go to dhaka tomorrow so here i'm not saying i i will go to dhaka tomorrow not this way i'm saying i'm saying i'll go to dhaka tomorrow so here some of the words are stressed and some of the words are unstressed so if you do not understand this one no worries okay just try to connect it okay here's my brother I have a pen okay uh, i'm going to market not i'm saying i am going to market not this way you have to make the connection with one another in bangla we actually give emphasis on every syllable so this why bangla is called syllable timed rhythm for example ami kal dhaka jabo here ami kal dhaka jabo every syllable i'm giving the emphasis but in english just noun verb adjective and most of the verbs are pronounced with stressed or with emphasis and rest of the things for example uh, pronoun article preposition conjunctions sometimes they are not given emphasis although at the beginning whatever you will say it will be you have to give emphasis on that so when i'm saying uh, i'll go to dhaka tomorrow here i then will i'm not giving emphasis then go here i have to give emphasis then two is not actually emphasized then dhaka here we have to emphasize tomorrow this is adverb here also we have to emphasize so this way if we follow the connectiveness with within the words then our language would be better let me give an example from uh, the newspaper why we need to talk more about suicide so look at this sentence here we are not saying why we need to talk more about suicide here not everything we are actually uh, reading with same focus same emphasis not everything just here we are giving emphasis noun verb adjective adverb and rest of the things we are not giving focus now if this way we read english then our english would be much more developed and it will be like native speakers let me read something more people who commit suicide are cowards people who commit suicide are selfish and take the easy way out these are the common but unreasonable belief that our society holds and in some respect promotes to a suicide so what makes it necessary for us to look into a behavior our society loves cowardly and selfish why is understanding suicide important now i have tried to read maintaining some connection between one word to others and giving emphasis on noun verb adjective adverb okay do not follow noun verb adjective you need not follow anything just copy the british people or if you like american english just copy how they actually talk if you can copy if you can do the mimicry i believe within a short time your pronunciation will be developed and this is the primary beginning step and definitely if you want to actually develop then you have to check each and every word from the dictionary because this is not actually our mother tongue so we have to check for example i have said so in bangla we say so but in english we have to say so we say no but it will be no 
and like we say frequent we say uh, doctor but in english you have to say doctor doctor uh, in american english they pronounced r but in british english they do not pronounce r but that r is not like our r it it would be like doctor in american english they will say doctor answer this way they will say but in british english we do not say this we say uh, doctor answer so we for example we another word uh, we say in bangla we like monday sunday but this is not actually day it will be day monday sunday saturday okay thursday this way it will be so what i recommend do not actually think about phonetics and phonology just watch movie just watch youtube videos native speakers okay so and try to copy them and record it it's very important it record it and listen to it again and again and evaluate yourself that how much closure you are coming to the native speaker if you are satisfied with your pronunciation good if you are not then try again try to copy them and within a short time you can overcome this bit naturally if you practice do not actually stick to that this is noun and here there is stress so i didn't give this stress don't uh, don't think about that stress pattern syllabic pattern or stress pattern or phonetics and phonology anything else okay just try to copy them and if you try to copy them within a short time i believe you can overcome thanks a lot for watching love your country and do something for the humanity thank you very much